Hello there, and welcome to In the Studio, episode 109. Today we will be doing a little bit of sound design. I'm going to make a sustained style lead sound using some fairly simple but effective sound design techniques. So let's do it. I'm going to use one of my go-to sound design plugins, and for me, that's Native Instruments massive. So I'm going to just go file new sound and initialize a fresh patch to work with. Okay, looks like we're good to go. I'm going to use just one oscillator for this demonstration, um, but I'm going to change it here. I'm going to use the Pulse Saw PWM. And I'm going to turn this to the pulse wave. And I'm going to turn this pulse width in the middle here and if you don't know a pulse wave is simply just a, a square wave um, but it could have different um, values as far as the width goes and not just an even symmetrical negative positive relationship um, so what I'm going to do is actually do a little bit of modulation with the pulse width and I'm going to use the LFO here, LFO 5, and I'm going to modulate that pulse width. And I'll show you the effect here in a second. So let's go to the LFO tab. I'm going to pull this all the way up, and I'm going to change this wave, the LFO wave, to a triangle. And I'll show you the effect here. So I'll turn the rate down, and then I'll turn it up. That's pulse width modulation, and it can really elevate a sound's you know overall texture and interest over time, and give it a little bit of extra movement and excitement. Um, but I don't want it that extreme. I don't want it up there. I'm going to turn the rate down fairly low, just so we get a little extra movement there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take LFO 6, drop it onto the rate of our first LFO, which is modulating the pulse width again, and I'm going to modulate the rate here. And let's hop over to the LFO 6 tab. I'm going to use a sine wave for this one, and I'm just going to pull the rate of this one down a little bit too. So let's hear that. You can hear there, it's just, it's not a, 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 like super noticeable, it's fairly subtle, but you can definitely hear um, that modulation happening and it gives the sound a little bit of, you know, movement over time. So let's move on. Um, I'm going to hop over to envelope 4 here, which in Massive by default is the amplitude envelope. So I'm going to just turn the attack in, and I think that's all I'm going to do in this case for this sound here. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm going to run this through a filter as well. I'm going to just use the low pass 4 filter. I'm just going to turn the resonance down for now. Okay, and then the sound desperate, desperately needs a little bit of a uh, reverb. But actually, before I do that, I'm going to give this a little bit of unison. So I'm going to hop over to the voicing tab here. I'm going to turn the unison maybe just to three, which is essentially just making three different voices of oscillator one. So you can hear it, it beefed up the sound a little bit. But what I'm going to do is turn this uh, unison spread on. So I'm going to turn this up a little bit. I 
And essentially what that's doing is those three voices, it's detuning those three voices against each other a little bit to create that you know, more thicker, lusher sound. Okay, now this sound def def bleh, definitely needs some uh, reverb here. So I'm going to use some reverb here. Uh, maybe turn the dry wet down a little bit. Maybe turn the size up slightly. Okay. Cool. Now I'm just going to play this, play around with this uh, sound against this uh, little backbeat here and maybe add a little bit of delay as well. that will do for now and let's just record this and I'm going to record in a little pattern here so let's hit record and notes and automation and here we go you know what actually Just want to make this a little bit more simple. I'm going to delete that one. Do this again here. Here we go. All right, let's just try that. And. I'm just going to pull this to the front. Clean this up a little bit, but I'll leave the little inconsistencies right there. That's fine with me. Maybe add a little bit of variation with. Uh, The velocity. Okay. a little bit too low in frequencies um, so I might even just bring this up an octave here so I'm just going to highlight this control up moves it up an octave and let's maybe just turn it down a little bit
cool. And yeah, that's a, you know, a simple little way to create a sustain style lead sound. You could even go a little bit further and make some macros here. So for instance, I could um, take this macro two, put it on the filter cutoff and move that up. Um, I could do the same with the size of the reverb. I could also do the same with the dry wet and just have one single knob to control multiple parameters, which can make um, arranging, you know, so much easier. Maybe uh, turn the wet up of the delay. Uh, maybe even pull this resonance down a little bit and then pull that up as well with this knob. go um, a simple little sound design tutorial hopefully you enjoyed it hopefully you learned something leave me a comment or question and I'll catch you soon take care